Meg Turney, and I like anime. I'm Ross Everett, and it's not my live shrimp head. I ordered it once. It wasn't great. So everyone, welcome to Anime Club. This week we watched Initial D, which is uh, great because it's anime, and it's racing, and cute girls, and it's awesome! I loved it. Ugh. Okay, so first let's talk about what Initial D is. Initial D follows the story of two high school boys. One of them is obsessed with racing, and the other one's like, I don't even know what racing is. But turns out, he's like the Drift King, and he's awesome at racing. That's exactly what happens. And then they're also, like, kind of pervy. But I guess it's okay if, like, the high school guys are a little bit weird, because high school guys are a little bit weird, so that's pretty grounded. I like that they walk, watch the underwear come down the stairs. I saw that, and I was like, well, that, that should have been a mistake. But then I realized it's animation, and they're... There are no mistakes in animation like that, and it was just like that was an upskirt shot of a yeah. high school girl. Wow, <laughs> it was uncomfortable. Well, let's talk more about the racing because uh, the racing that's actually covered in Initial D is real. I mean, drift racing is very popular in Japan or was when this anime was new. This is kind of an older anime, and actually, a lot of what happens throughout the Initial D first season, kind of like Tokyo Drift the movie, without really? the weird hick dude. Is Vin Diesel in? Uh... He Initial makes D? an appearance. Initial Diesel? Is that what it is? <laughs> Vinitial Diesel? Vinitial Diesel. I'd watch that anime. He doesn't. But it's all about racing and, and about hometown pride. Um, a lot of the racing actually in Japan, like the drift racing, does take place in mountain passes, so it's not like urban focus. They're all about like knowing the curves of your mountain, which also happens in Tokyo Drift. Yeah, and the curves of your woman, which also happens in Tokyo Drift. Only a little bit, though. But still a little bit. She had a weird voice. Well. <laughs> this was the hardest anime for me to what? watch, by far. What? Or on High School Host Club, easier to watch than this. I can't believe that. First, the first things first is like when I first saw it, I was like, oh, what's going on with this camera movement? It kept shaking. It looked like, you know when it's a hot day and you see like the, the waves coming off of the concrete. I felt like that was happening and it felt like my eyes were, were twitching and glitching out. Uh, and then you have the different type of anime because all the cars are like super poorly CGI'd in there. And then there was one point in the second episode where they just show actual footage of a car drifting. And well, because I, they work it into like they're watching, and that guy, if, they're watching the original Drift King, uh, Keiichi, I think is his name. Um, he's like the the guy who, he, I mean, he didn't start it, but he's like well credited. I it. thought like if you're super into drifting, that could be a cool Easter egg. There's a lot of emotional attachment between these characters and these cars, something which I cannot relate oh, to that whatsoever. Makes me so sad. So I, but I watched it for you guys and I wanted to give it a real fair shot. I thought that it had good cliffhangers between the episodes. My older brother is super into racing and like cars and all of that. So um, I guess I just was kind of brought up on that. So I think it's amazing. Obviously I love the Fast and the Furious movies. Yes. So I love anything racing. I love Initial D. I had seen it when I was a, a wee one in high school. I don't know, I love this idea of like this guy who's just kind of undercover, like, oh, just kidding, I can totally pull it out. He has an old, shitty car that's still cool, but it's like old, and he's beating all these new cars, and it's exciting, and this girl likes him. I don't know, it's fun. And as the series continues, he kind of learns what street racing pride is and like starts to kind of jockey for that position, which I think is great. I did enjoy that character and kind of his aloofness about it, and, and there was this one cool moment where he gave a, an answer, someone like asked him a question, like, oh, if you know anything about drift racing what about this and he gave an answer and they kind of laughed at it but then his his like the guy that his knows boss. about his boss is like that was a good answer <laughs> I'm like impressed. in his head so like that was kind of cool just from a writing perspective because it was like that's something cool where like there are two right answers but one right answer is more right Although if you're a novice, it seems like the wrong answer. What kind of anime was this? This is definitely a seinen anime, so it's it's for boys. Um, but it's, I don't know, cause I think it's awesome. <laughs> well, that's fine. This is th uh, that girl on the rooftop being like, I I just want to tell you, I got a two piece, and you're gonna see it if you take me to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, bitch was thirsty to go to the beach. So and thirsty. And second of all, this is the only thing that bothers me about the anime style, cause it's like an older anime style. Her lips are weird. Yeah, I noticed that. It was like, give this girl a drink of water. Because she has She's like, like, like these super like lips that I'm like, I don't need to see that. Like just make like a little triangle for her mouth. That's yeah. all I need. So uh, that's what we thought of Initial D. I thought it was fantastic and you should definitely keep watching it. Ross didn't think not quite so Not gonna watch so it. Much. Nope, not gonna watch it at all. <laughs> but don't forget, if you wanna join us on Anime Club next week, you can always go to netflix.com slash sourcefed to get a free month of instant streaming. Then you can watch what we're watching next, which is Blood Plus.
and you can take a video of your thoughts and feelings, post it to YouTube with the hashtag SFNAnimeClubBloodPlus, and we will see it, and you might be in the episode like these people. Hello, Anime Club. I'm Leo, and these are a soldier, and I'm on the Lebanese border right now. Oh, yes, this is a gun. Surprising. This isn't a costume. I don't dress up like this for fun. I want to speak about what we watched this week. The animation in this anime is really, really weird. Like, the way they made the cars, which is digitalized, is really weird. It doesn't fit with the anime. I like it when everything is flowing, it's the same. I believe it's in the first episode when Matsuki gets into her car in her really short school uniform and her father goes, I like your uniform. And she's like, oh, it's just a regular school girl uniform. It was really weird. I did really like the humor in this anime though when Takumi was talking to his friend and they were arguing because Takumi didn't know he had an 8-6. I found that to be hilarious. I didn't even know I had one until today. If they expect me to call it an 8-6, it should say 8-6 on the back instead of Trueno. Overall, I would say this is a good starter anime. It definitely has stood the test of time as it still has a very large following. I'm just not very into this particular niche of anime. I like my robots big, I like my violence bloody, and I like my anime's dark. It's not the best anime in the world, it's definitely not the worst. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's got a bit of a following to it, otherwise it would not have gone on as long as it has. Uh, the build-up can be a bit of a pain, but overall I'm actually quite enjoying it, so I'll probably continue to watch this one. Rassy, ready? Yeah! Drift! Total understeerage. <laughs>